Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, we're diving into the world of chemistry to explore the unique and captivating compound known as borazine. Borazine, also called inorganic benzene or boron nitride analog of benzene, is a unique and exceptional chemical compound that has puzzled and fascinated chemists since its discovery. Combining elements from different groups in the periodic table, borazine represents an exciting bridge between the worlds of inorganic and organic chemistry. In this video, we will embark on a quest to understand the structure, properties, and applications of borazine. From its historical roots to its role in cutting-edge technologies, we will explore the properties that make borazine a true standout in the realm of chemistry. Borazine also known as borazol, inorganic benzene, or triazoborine. The molecular formula of borazine is B3N3H6 or BHNH, thrice since it has three boron atoms, three nitrogen atoms, and six hydrogen atoms. The structure of borazine is similar to that of the benzene molecule. Borazine was first synthesized and reported by Alfred Stock, a German chemist, in 1926. Stock was investigating the reactions between boron halides, such as boron trichloride, BCl3, and ammonia, NH3, aiming to synthesize new boron compounds. During this experiment, he observed the formation of a white solid precipitate. He further examined the precipitate using various analytical techniques, including spectroscopy and elemental analysis. After thorough analysis, Stock determined that the white solid precipitate was a previously undiscovered compound. He named it borazine, highlighting its structural and chemical similarity to benzene, an aromatic hydrocarbon, and boron nitride. Borazine is similar to benzene because both have stable and planar hexagonal ring structure. Borazine is an inorganic compound while benzene is an organic compound. Another similarity is both have valence electrons equal to 30. Now, let's talk about structure and hybridization of borazine. Borazine consists of a six-membered ring composed of alternating boron, B, and nitrogen, N, atoms. The ring's arrangement is similar to that of benzene, with the boron and nitrogen atoms occupying alternating positions around the ring. Each boron atom in the ring is bonded to two adjacent nitrogen atoms, and each nitrogen atom is bonded to two neighboring boron atoms. The bonds between the boron and nitrogen atoms are sigma bonds, which results in a highly stable and planar structure. The boron-nitrogen bonds in borazine have a unique character, often described as having partial double bond character due to resonance effects within the ring. This characteristic resonance imparts stability to the compound, similar to the stability of the alternating single and double bonds in benzene. The hybridization of borazine's atoms plays a crucial role in determining its unique structure and properties. Each boron atom in borazine forms three sigma bonds, two with adjacent nitrogen atoms and one with a hydrogen atom. Similarly each nitrogen atom in borazine forms three sigma bonds, two with adjacent boron atoms and one with a hydrogen atom. Thus both boron and nitrogen form sp2 hybridization. In sp2 hybridization, 1-2's orbital and 2-2p orbitals combine to form three new hybrid orbitals. Also because of sp2 hybridization both have trigonal planar geometry. Now let's dive into the synthesis and reactions of borazine. Synthesis of borazine is called stock synthesis. Here three moles of borane react with six moles of ammonia in the presence of heat gives borazine and 12 moles of hydrogen. Also, 3 moles of boron trichloride reacts with 3 moles of ammonia to give borazine and 3 moles of HCl. Another efficient method for synthesizing borazine is substituted boron preparation. Here boron trichloride reacts with substituted ammonium chloride to give R3B3N3Cl3 which further reacts with sodium borohydride or alkyl lithium to form substituted borazine. While we have discussed certain similarities between benzene and borazine, it's important to note that distinct properties set these two compounds apart. Borazine is sometimes termed a misnomer due to the differing properties of borazine and benzene. Unlike benzene, where true resonance occurs due to the delocalization of pi electrons, borazine does not exhibit true resonance. This difference arises from the fact that molecular orbital, MO, calculations reveal that pi electrons tend to be concentrated around nitrogen due to its higher electronegativity compared to boron. As a result, nitrogen and borazine gains basic characteristics, while boron gains acidic characteristics, leading to distinct electronic distributions in the two compounds. Also borazine and benzene demonstrate contrasting chemical reactivity, 
displaying unique behaviors when exposed to various reagents and undergoing distinct types of chemical reactions. Comparing the reactions of borazine and benzene, we observe that borazine reacts with HCl through an addition reaction, resulting in the formation of substituted borazine. However, in the case of benzene, no addition reaction occurs. Furthermore, when borazine reacts with bromine, it forms substituted borazine, while benzene reacts with bromine to yield bromobenzene. When we consider hydrolysis, we find that borazine can readily undergo hydrolysis to produce boric acid, whereas benzene is resistant to hydrolysis. Moving to hydrogenation reactions, when borazine is hydrogenated, it forms products with indefinite compositions, unlike benzene, which yields cyclohexane upon hydrogenation. Moreover, in pyrolysis reactions, borazine leads to the creation of compounds analogous to biphenyl and naphthalene, while benzene's pyrolysis results in the formation of biphenyl. I hope you enjoyed learning about this unique compound as much as I did sharing it with you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more exciting chemistry content. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.